plastic, the term which has troubled many scientists and communities. For the past couple of years, the whole world has been talking about the problem of global warming and pollution. There is said to be various kinds of pollution like noise, visual, air and water pollution. Plastics are said to be one of the main causes of pollution. These are dumped into the water by factories and even individuals, which is said to be degrading the environment. Is plastic really that bad? If yes, then how can we solve it? Do people really need to worry about plastic waste? Let's see all that in today's video. As we all know, the world's population is constantly increasing and many household and non-household products which people use are made out of plastic. These include bottles, bags, and microplastics. These plastic items are more or less single-used and are disposed off very inefficiently, which is said to harm the environment. Now, this plastic waste has been a problem since the widespread adoption of plastics in the mid-20th century. However, it became a more pressing issue in the 21st century due to exponential growth, which led to vast amounts of plastic waste accumulating in landfills, oceans, and other ecosystems. According to many scientific institutions, plastic waste is a very big problem. The particular cause of this is the adverse effects of plastics on ecosystems, wildlife, and human health. As plastic accumulates in landfills and oceans, it poses a serious threat to marine life, with animals ingesting or becoming ensnared in plastic items, resulting in injury or mortality. Furthermore, the degradation of plastics into microplastics contaminates water bodies, entering the food chain and potentially endangering human health through the consumption of contaminated seafood and water. Chemicals leaching from plastics exacerbate environmental and health risks, while the economic toll of cleanup efforts and damage to industries reliant on clean environments is substantial. Lastly, plastic is not biodegradable. It takes hundreds of thousands of years for plastic to decompose, which leads to its long-term problems. Let's now see why companies and producers choose to produce these so-called harmful materials. First of all, plastic containers are easy to make and well-suited for various products storage and manufacturing. Secondly, the production of plastic is very cheap compared to using other materials which makes it very eye-catching for producers seeking to make high profits. Now you might be wondering, if plastic is that bad, should we, as humans, be worried about these harmful effects? How can these problems further affect humans? Plastic waste poses several direct and indirect effects on human health, ranging from chemical exposure to economic impacts. Firstly, the production, use, and disposal of plastic products release harmful chemicals into the environment which can contaminate air, water, and soil. This phenol A and phthalates, commonly found in plastics, are known disruptors linked to various health issues, including hormone imbalances and developmental disorders. Moreover, when plastics degrade into microplastics, these tiny particles can enter the food chain potentially contaminating seafood and drinking water sources. When humans consume these seafood or the contaminated water, the microplastics in them can expose humans to harmful toxic chemicals, leading to organ damage and stress. To address plastic waste effectively, several straightforward steps can be taken with their respective evaluations. Firstly, Promoting recycling initiatives encourages the proper disposal and processing of plastic materials, reducing their environmental impact. However, challenges such as contamination and inadequate infrastructure may limit recycling effectiveness in some regions. Secondly, advocating for the use of reusable alternatives like water bottles and shopping bags helps decrease reliance on single-use plastics, thus minimizing waste generation. Despite their benefits, widespread adoption of reusable products may require behavioral and cultural shifts, which could take time to achieve. Thirdly, community cleanup efforts raise awareness about plastic pollution and empower individuals to take action, fostering a sense of environmental responsibility. However, while cleanup activities can remove existing waste, they do not address the root cause of plastic pollution. Finally, 
Implementing government policies and regulations, such as plastic bans and extended producer responsibility programs, can significantly reduce plastic waste and hold industries accountable for their environmental impact. Nevertheless, successful enforcement and stakeholder collaboration are essential to ensure the success of such policies. By combining these approaches and addressing their respective challenges, we can make meaningful strides towards mitigating plastic waste and creating a more sustainable future. However, there is a disadvantage with these solutions. Plastic pollution also has socioeconomic implications that impact human well-being. Cleanup and mitigation efforts to address plastic pollution incur significant financial costs for governments, communities, and businesses. These expenses include waste management infrastructure, environmental remediation projects, and healthcare costs associated with plastic-related health issues. Additionally, industries reliant on clean environments, such as tourism, fisheries, and agriculture, may suffer economic losses due to the degradation of ecosystems and declines in biodiversity caused by plastic pollution. In conclusion, the evidence overwhelmingly supports the fact that plastic pollution in our oceans is not a hoax, but a very real and pressing problem. Scientific studies, first-hand observations, and heartbreaking footage all attest to the devastating impact of plastic on marine life, ecosystems, and even human health. While it's easy to feel overwhelmed by the scale of the problem, it's important to remember that every action, no matter how small, makes a difference. By raising awareness, reducing plastic consumption, supporting cleanup efforts, and advocating for policy change, we can all play a part in tackling this urgent issue and safeguarding the future of our oceans. Together, let's take meaningful action to combat plastic pollution and ensure a healthier planet for generations to come. That was it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.